All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol CTRM, Caster Maritime Inc. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel, Invest for Tomorrow, to all the subscribers. Welcome back. And as we jump into this chart, I do want every single investor to be aware of the fact that I have a new ticker symbol to share with you guys that you definitely want to add to your watch list and keep in mind moving forward and pay very close attention to it as it continues to play out it's in the ev sector there's a lot of growth projected for this sector and this company has a specific niche within the ev sector which is even more intriguing to definitely keep on your radar so stay tuned for that towards the end of this video so that we can talk more about the chart and the forward outlook on that company so ctrm the last time i had a chance to add this to the watch list of videos and so forth here that we were looking at every single day was way back here back on the 26th and from that point forward i mean this thing had ran up and it's consolidated at newer highs so we're going to look at its new resistance and support and see how this stock is reacting but wow did it run up pretty high it hit 109 coming all the way from way down here at around 17 cents consolidating up here close to the 30 cent range and just going all the way up right now it's sitting around 70 70 to be exact and we need to watch this carefully so i have some numbers here for you guys to definitely keep in mind based off the chart and the 50-day moving average the first thing i want to talk about is the 50-day moving average to be exact it's 6640 now i can't land exactly on it so anywhere between 6650 to 6640 I'd write that down and pay close attention to how the stock is doing due to the fact that that's very close to that area. Now, if we're above it, we're in bullish territory. And if we're below it, we're in bearish territory. This has been in tug of war zone since the drop on the 28th and trying to do this sideways movement slash upward momentum. Very subtle, but it's been upward momentum over time. Now, I want every single investor to be aware how important right now it is for the bulls to maintain control over the tug of war so that this does not give leverage to the bears how will they do that well the bulls definitely need to break through the 50-day moving average they already did and the next thing is maintain themselves above resistance levels now the highest point reached in this sideways movement is 7576 so that is the true point that the bulls want to break through to reach newer highs and new resistance levels but before they're able to accomplish that they have a resistance level to break through first so this is right now about the third highest point within this time frame of the sideways movement but it's the second highest from the day right it spiked up up here to 75 76 and then this is the second highest within the day so we're going to talk about that in just a moment now our support is 64.43 to be exact if this breaks through the 50-day moving average and it breaks through support this could be on its way down to newer lows and new support levels now the lowest point after that would be here at 59.15 so i just round that down to 59 cents and that means that the bears have broken through the 50-day moving average broken through support and you want to watch and see if the bulls try to reappear between 64.43 and 59 cents to see if the bulls can bring it back up or are the bears going to continue to tear this down now this support level is so important because as long as we stay above it the bulls may have a chance to bring themselves back up and if it gets broken through the bears are starting to gain leverage to pull this one down further to newer support levels so i want every single investor to be aware of that now our resistance level which is the most important point right now for the bulls to maintain momentum and stay above the 50-day moving average is 72.95 the bulls need to break through 72.95 turn it into support and pull upwards to newer highs and new resistance levels to get deeper into bullish territory it's very very important right now and i want to emphasize this that the bulls break through 72.95 turn it into a support and pull upwards from it all right that's how they're going to maintain leverage maintain control over the tug of war and pull further away from the 50-day moving average in the upward direction as always 
If you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. Stay tuned till the end because I have a ticker symbol you won't want to miss and you definitely want to have this one added to your watch list. So for everyone that has stayed to this point, the ticker symbol I'm about to share with you guys is definitely one you want to do more research on and you want to watch carefully. Now it's in the EV sector and it focuses on a specific niche and I've been watching it for a few days and an article came out on Friday that gave me even more of a confirmation why this one's going to have potential in the long term. I'm not too quite sure how we need to uh, play it out in the short term because it is kind of hyperinflated in a little bit and it was going downwards and it just bounced back up and I definitely want to recommend to every single investor watch it carefully. So the ticker symbol is ACTC, Arclight Clean Transition Corp. So here we are with how it reacted when the merger was announced. It went from $12 all the way up to $31. It started to pull back and this pullback was looking healthy. Now it bounced right back up and this could be the overall market reaction because the whole market had a slight jump and it jumped $4, almost $3 and some change, $4 from the lows here. So right now it's sitting at $26.29 and I definitely recommend watching it if it breaks through $20.50 and also $20. 15 right 22 15 excuse me those are the two points of support levels to watch carefully moving forward and we want to see if this continues to pull downwards after this slight jump or does it consolidate up here and is it creating the anticipation leading towards the merger now after the merger is something to watch as well i've seen a lot of these mergers happen so far and they actually start to have pullbacks as well afterwards but in the long term this is definitely a stock to keep in mind and watch carefully because they have a large market share who ACTC is going to merge with. Let's see this article here. So this is the article that came out on Friday. Yesterday I was gonna do videos and I actually was gonna do videos on Friday. I've had a few hiccups and I apologize for that to every single viewer and investor, but I'm glad that I'm still able to proceed with this information and it's still one to definitely watch and keep in mind. So. When I saw this article from Investor's Place, the heading was why investors should pass on Arclight for now. The key words here to me that stand out is should pass for now. And that's fine. You want to add it to your watch list though and you want to keep an eye on it and see how it's reacting because this sector has potential. And this is who they're merging with, Proterra. Arclight has agreed to merge with Proterra. Well, now that they have agreed to do that, who you should do more research on is Proterra. Now, from what I've seen, they've been around for over 10 years and they have a large market share in the niche that they do. And what do they do? They are an electric bus maker. Now, if you guys have seen Arrival and how things are happening in Europe, I could see Proterra being the one in the US market. That's the one in Europe market, Arrival. I could see Proterra being the one in the US market. I'm not sure if Arrival will arrive into the US market for as long as it doesn't, Proterra has an upward you know, hand on this one. So over the long term, it basically says Proterra should do very well. That's a good sign. Now it talks about you know the pandemic and so forth, why it's not recommend to buy ACTC anytime soon. Now Arclight has agreed to merge with Proterra. So when they say this anytime soon, but they say over the long term, it should do very well. And then I see should pass for now. It makes sense that this is the time to watch it. You really want to keep it on your radar and see how it moves. And now we have time to do due diligence as investors and in research to know more about Proterra. So if anybody knows more than me or anything else or wants to share any articles or even this article, if you find it, you could post a link down below in the comments so that other investors are aware. But I would definitely start with this one because... Just the beginning kind of throws you, you know, the good and the bad. And then as you continue to read, it talks about the good and the bad. And all of a sudden, the good outweighs the bad because it tells you all the great things of Proterra and who they are and how they're working and what they plan on doing moving forward. Now, why do I see potential in this stock moving forward? And I'm not here to tell you guys to buy, sell, or hold any position in it, but I am here to enlighten you guys 
on adding this to your radar and keeping a close eye on it. Well, right now we are in the pre-merger, you know, hype and stuff. And after the merger, things might cool down again. And we need to see how far down it cools down. And also what's the anticipation leading into the merger. Now, why is this a great one? Well, the fact is that electric bus makers have a lot of potential just based off of the school system. Think about that nationwide and then public transportation system. Think about that nationwide. There's enough to go around there for them to go ahead and make these buses and receive a lot of purchases and orders over time. So I look forward to how things continue to move and especially with legislation being passed and going greener and EV becoming more of a norm rather than a luxury or taboo. It's going to change everything about the whole sector and the fact that this focuses on a niche within the EV sector which is electric bus makers and this is one of them and they have a large market share in that niche I could see a lot of potential for this one so definitely want to add to your watch list ACTC it's going to merge with Proterra thank you guys so much for watching and as always let's make some money